killing centers or extermination camps were facilities built exclusively for the systematic murder of humans. Gas vans were used at the first killing center of Kelmno in 1941, where camps with killing as a purpose continued to open, this time with ga gas chambers and crematoria built for the rapid killing and the cremation of human beings. Transports from all of occupied territories arrived at these various killing sites and were sorted. One part would go straight to the gas chambers, and the other part was assigned for, to forced labor. Their fate, however, would eventually also be the gas chamber or death by labor. Jews and undesirables were cramped into cattle trains with no food or water for days, so many of them died on the way. When the doors of the trains opened, it was common for lifeless bodies to fall out. It is estimated that the SS and German police murdered nearly 2.7 million Jews on these killing centers, either by asphyxiation with poison gas or by shooting. The total death toll of the Holocaust is estimated to be around 6 million people, including other people considered undesirable, and Jews murdered outside of these killing centers. Killing centers first made their appearance in Nazi Germany in the execution of Operation T4, the so-called euthanasia program. The euthanasia program was the systematic murder of institutionalized patients with disabilities in Germany. From January 1940 through late August 1941, adult patients were murdered in gas chambers using chemically pure carbon monoxide gas. The construction and implementation of the killing centers was known as Operation Reinhardt because of Reinhard Heydrich's input in the implementation of it. He personally oversaw the key logistics needed for this type of implemented mass murder, such as transport, development of, development of gas chambers, etc. He was the architect of the Holocaust. After his assassination in mid-1942, Himmler was keen to maintain his memory alive and thus continued his plans under this new name. The six main Reinhardt camps were Helmno, Belzec, Sobibor, Treblinka, Auschwitz-Birkenau, and Manjadek. What happened in these camps was inhumane and stripped humanity from any innocence. Conditions were appalling and the death was systematic and merciless. Jews would be taken into what looked like a huge dressing room, told to remove their clothes and hang them. Then they were taken into gas chamber disguised as a shower room. Zyklon B would then fill the room and ha hundreds of innocent Jews and other undesirables would die within 10 to 20 minutes. Disease was rampant and killed thousands of more prisoners. Food was scarce, leading to rampant starvation, and labor was inhumane. I will give you death camps in numbers. At the height of deportations, an average of 6,000 Jews were gassed each day at the Birkenau killing center using Cyclone B. In the Operation Reinhardt killing centers, the SS and their auxiliaries killed approximately 1.5 million Jews between March 1942 and November 1943. Many horrible things happened in these camps. Among these, the gruesome medical experiments of Dr. Joseph Mengele, also known as the Angel of Death. Mengele was known to present to be present at the selections in order to select his victims. He was obsessed with twins and children and experimented a series of often fatal experiments. His experiments were designed towards advancing Nazi racial ideology and included sterilization, contagious diseases in relation to race and more. To mask all traces of gassing operations, special prisoner units, the Sonderkommando, were forced to remove corpses from the gas chambers and cremate them. A lot of the time, members of the Sonderkommando were forced to cremate or bury their own relatives. 
Although these were the main killing factories, the Germans had many other hard labor camps where the conditions were just as bad. Many of the prisoners died of mass starvation, disease, and exhaustion. The SS was also keen on murdering prisoners for petty reasons. Some of these concentration camps also had crematoria, but, the, but their sole purpose was not only murdering, but also hard war labor. Cap camps like Buchenwald and Manthausen were among the most famous. Camps continued to work at full capacity until 1945 and the world was shocked. <laughs>